Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to do a comparison with the uh, the Goyard St. Paris pocket organizer or card holder um, against the Louis Vuitton pocket organizer. This is the pocket organizer. Um, so I'm just going to show you guys a comparison um, and then you guys can let me know what you guys think about them. Uh, which one would you guys go with? Um, personally, they're both really good. Um, you can see I've, I've used this one a whole lot. You can see a lot of wear on the. This is my kind of recent pickup. Um, so there is a video on the Goyard in uh, my channel. So go ahead and check that one out. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump in. So uh, these are going to be the two wallets. See the size on them. Looks like the Goyard is a little bigger up there. It's a little bit, but almost the same size, I think. Um, if we put it flat like that, uh, it's almost the same everything, to be honest. You can see the Louis Vuitton comes up just a little bit, very little. But if anything, it's almost the same thing. So if you have this, this is kind of like the size of the, the Goyard. Um, if you have the Goyard, I'm pretty sure you already have one of these. Um, but yeah, so, so far, you can see on the side here. Anyway, so quick rundown. This is going to be the, the Goyard St. Paris. Um, you do have one, two, three, four, five, six card slots. And then you have another slot there, seven, eight, and then you have this big opening here. So you can stick cash, whatever you need. And this is how it is, one big piece of canvas. It kinda has like a nice little 3D effect on there. So you can see that. And then this is going to be the Louis Vuitton pocket organizer. So you can see here, you do have one pocket here Go ahead and see. Yeah, it's all, it's all canvas. So you got one pocket there. You got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whoops. Let it focus. There you go. So you got uh, six, seven, eight. And then you actually have nine down here, which to be honest, I don't use this one. And then real quick, you can see Louis Vuitton Paris made in France. So that's going to be the Louis Vuitton pocket organizer. Um, so yeah, so how many did we say? We got uh, three, six, seven, eight, nine here. So you got nine here. On this one you have what? Three, six, seven, eight. So you got one extra slot on this guy here. Um, so as you know, this one you do have a little slot for cash or for receipts or anything you need. Goes in there as for the Louis Vuitton. You don't have that. Um, you can see you don't have that little slot. Okay, so nine cards. This one holds eight plus a little pocket. So personally, I, I, I like the fact that, you know, it has this little pocket here. It makes it really nice. You know, you could throw cash in there real quick. So anyways, let's look at the glazing. Something that I normally do on my channel. So you can see we don't really have see if it'll show so it doesn't really show like glazing on there but you do you have a little bit right here this is the glazing oh and let's look at that stitching too I don't think I showed that on my other video you can see right there Goyard made in France look at the stitching there See, you don't have the stitch. Oh, you do have the stitch on the other side. You can see it's on point. Really nice. And then uh, let's look at the stitching on this guy. You can see it's really nice too. My camera's not focusing. See the stitching here. And to the top, and let's look on the other side. 
you can see stitching is coming through here too. Now one of the downsides, this is how it's one big piece of canvas and then of course you can see right there's canvas and then they slap on another piece of canvas. But one thing I was going to mention is um, one of the downsides with this uh, pocket organizer just in Louis Vuitton in general with their canvas products um, they do start let's see if this video will catch it let me see if I can I think that's it I don't know if you guys can see but there's cracking right there that's a crack let me see I think you can hold on see another yeah there's, there's another crack really light faint crack right there so one thing with uh, Louis Vuitton um, once there is cracking the company will not take possession of it and redo the glazing um, so once they find a little crack that's it um, they won't they won't usually they do reglaze if there's no cracking so you can get this done um, like you know uh, like a new um, glazing done on the wallet um, let me see if you can see on the edge here there's like wear so that can be repaired but unfortunately because this one is cracked they won't touch it and um, I took it in to see if you know it could be repaired um, you know, I'll save that for a different video, but anyways, it wasn't successful, long story short. But with the Goyard, I don't know if it would crack. Um, the canvas on the Goyard actually feels thinner. So you can see. And with the Louis Vuitton, I mean, well, it's hard to say, but it, it might be the same thing. So you can see it's like already like a bunch of cracking there. But it would be cracking on the canvas, not on the edging, not like that. But usually that leads to cracking on the canvas. But um, yeah, so since I haven't really used this wallet, only a couple of times here and there, can't really say if, um, hmm, I really don't know. I don't know if it will crack. I mean, I don't see any hard points other than here. So I guess maybe it will crack here, but... I don't, I don't know if, if Goyer would even repair it. I don't even see how they would. Um, so I really don't know much about, you know, the Goyard. Now the quality with the Louis Vuitton I actually had this for, I think, how many years? Three years? Four years? Four years? Um, and I did take good care of my, uh, of this wallet. Um, but you can see it still almost looks brand new other than you know it's it looks flat here and then this looks like it's starting to curl up um, the front I mean of course you can see a little bit where you know my cards would sit uh, but other than that and I never used this pocket here but other than that I mean it still looks like it held up really well um, let's look at the glazing again on this can see a little bit of cracking. Let's see we'll focus right there. And the glazing. I mean, yeah, the quality on Louis Vuitton, it's actually really good. Um, so, you know, I'm ready to see the quality on the Goyard to see how they compare with Louis Vuitton. Um, I just wish the Louis Vuitton wallets, they didn't, you know, cause cracking. Um, and if they did, you know, I really wish that they were able to, you know, redo the glazing around, you know, the edging on the wallet. Uh, because you can see, like I had shown you um, here, you can see that the glazing's already fading out a little bit. But um, yeah, so let's go ahead and take a quick look again inside of the wallet. So this is how it looks like. And then Louis Vuitton. And then the back, you can see. And then you can see a big old scratch right there. So you can see I did use this wallet. You can see some, looks like a, got a big scratch right here. And then I think there's like some little wear 
on the canvas. Um, but yeah, so this is the Louis Vuitton. You got right there, Louis Vuitton. And then the Goyard. And that's about it, guys. Hope you guys like this comparison. Um, if you guys have any questions, just leave it down in the comments. And um, take care. Like and subscribe.